On February 22nd, the strategic missile submarine cruiser Tula launched an R-29 RMU to Sineva Intercontinental Ballistic Missile at the Chiza test range in the Arkhangelsk region. This event would have gone unnoticed, but it is known that the launch was necessary as part of the tests for the S-500 Promete anti-aircraft missile system, which passed a very important test. Details are in today's extended special edition of the Project Time Forward. Last week, the nuclear submarine Tula fired an intercontinental ballistic missile, Sineva, with hypersonic warheads at the Chiza test range in the Arkhangelsk region. The event was rather routine, so it didn't attract much attention. But yesterday, it became known that this launch enabled the successful conduct of a military technical experiment to test the S-500 Promete anti-aircraft missile system. As a result, it was possible to confirm the S-500's ability to shoot down hypersonic targets, including advanced ones. It should be clarified here that the S-500 has previously shot down hypersonic targets, and the S-400 is also capable of this. But hypersonic missiles can be different, and the point is that by intercepting Cineva, Promete completed the testing cycle and confirmed its ability to counter, among other things, intercontinental weapons. Compared to the S-400 Promete detects hypersonic targets earlier, destroys them at greater distances and altitudes, and does it more efficiently. However, this does not diminish the importance of the S-400, since the systems complement each other. Intercepting hypersonic targets, considering our adversaries lag in this area, might seem like an excessive function. But sooner or later, the Americans will catch up, and we need to prepare to counter future threats in advance. The S-500 is designed to protect specific regions, major cities, industrial facilities, and priority strategic targets. Thanks to the fact that it is mounted on the BAS-69096 tractor base, it can be quickly deployed to any location. Another important feature is its ability to shoot down targets in near space, using both missiles with conventional and nuclear warheads. And considering that the old international agreements prohibiting the deployment of weapons of mass destruction in orbit are falling apart, I think this is a very far-sighted move. It is known that serial production of the S-500 has already been launched. It was also reported that the systems have been delivered to the troops, but there is no exact information on this, since almost all information on this topic is still classified. In any case, the successful interception of an intercontinental hypersonic target is an important milestone, not only in the history of missile defense, but also a significant event in the world of engineering. It's gratifying that it belongs to us. This coming Sunday on the Vremia V Peered channel, we will continue the topic and discuss exactly what Russia is planning to launch into space and why this has so alarmed the Americans, who claim that we intend to send a mysterious weapon into orbit. Subscribe so you don't miss new episodes.